Hey everyone, LP here, and I uh, wanted to drop you a quick note and let you talk, let you know about that right there. I'm going to be zeroing that today. Uh, my son asked me to do it some months ago, and I've <sighs> kind of dropped the ball. But uh, I want to make good on my promise today. I kind of know how to do these things, so let's watch. I made a short on this before, but what this is is a beautiful 6.5 Creedmoor and not a joke as far as reaching out and touching something. He's actually going to use it for a deer rifle, uh, which is uh, kind of interesting considering its weight and its actual, well, it's made by Savage uh, and uh, it's got the MDT technology on it, but the bottom line is this is really a tactical rifle. Uh, not the greatest scope in the world, but that's what came with it. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with these match grade rounds. Hopefully I only need nine. Okay, so I've already gone down range, marked my target. I've got three one inch squares and uh, we're gonna see what uh, this thing does. I've already made sure that the, uh, the rings are tight. They were actually loose, kind of oddly loose. Uh, I've got it maxed out at 12 magnification and set for 100 yards. So let's uh, put some rounds down range, see what happens. Before it rains, anyway. So a little voice narration here. Uh, I'm uh, actually, this is the first time I've ever shot this rifle before. The stock felt really weird to me since the stock that I normally would have on like an M40 was, uh, it's much thicker, uh, lighter. Uh, also, there was different things that were happening like I was just trying to get my body down into a nice tight shooting position. Shooting from the prone is the best way to shoot long range. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. The, uh, the, the gun itself was super stable but trying to get my body into position just so that when I took my eyes off of the target or I closed my eyes when I opened them, I was right on the target. Uh, this was, um, the gun itself was really easy to get into position, but it was literally just me not, um, it was me not shooting in a long time. So the, this long setup is what that's all about. We're gonna need to get some oil in there. All right, so what I can tell is I think that the uh, the shots are gonna be down in the bottom right-hand corner of that square. Uh, if anything, we're gonna have to adjust this because the dope is really off on this firearm. So let's go ahead and uh, go down there and take a look. Okay, so uh, yeah, the target back there, walking back to the, to the gun, not a single hole anywhere on there. So that tells me that that thing is like way off, way off, so. We're gonna bring it in closer, see if we can get something uh, in a circle, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so my initial assumptions were that this thing was actually reasonably on target and just needed to be fine-tuned. What I'm finding out is that it's nowhere near where it's supposed to be. So, I've uh, moved the target up a little closer. I've created a big old circle for myself. We're just gonna take this one shot at a time and uh, see if we can't get this grouping a little tighter so we can move it back out to 100 yards. Let's see what happens. Come here you, deer protection. Also, let's back the magnification off. Uh. was high and right so I've only got so many bullets let's say rounds 
So we're gonna make some bold adjustments here. Okay. All right, so it is moving it down. So this thing needs a big movement. Big movement. This thing, the scale is so far off, it's not even funny. Um, I'm gonna go from zero around once. That's how far this thing is off. It's crazy how far it's off. I think I'm gonna need more rounds. I might have to go in the house and get another box because I really only expected to use nine. I can tell you is, is that the recoil on this thing is really not that bad. Very surprising compared to the 308. The 5. Let's see what it does. This should put me right, elevation wise, right where I want to be. Alright, there it is. Okay guys, after uh, walking down to the Target, <laughs> I'd show it to you, but I might be a little embarrassed because um, I forgot a lot of tools. It's been a while since I've done any long range stuff. But basically I need to come over three and three and I went and got my glasses. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's put, let's put a round down range. Air protection on, ready to go. <sighs> All right, better, much better, but still only about half of what I need. I'm wondering if this scope is actually cammed for this caliber. So I'm starting to wonder, but we're going to. To get it for 100 we're gonna set it for 100 yards either way looks like I need to come over can't tell you this is a very smooth gun this thing is extremely stable surprisingly stable I'm gonna look down at my old man glasses it just kind of sets right where you left it Okay, so I'm kind of glad you guys didn't watch that. I really had some issues with that scope. It was not locked down all the way. The rings had spun. Um, all the lugs were loose. So no matter what I do, I was screwing it all up. So I literally had to tighten it up and start it from scratch, all the way from zero and back. So as you can see, this is what we've been shooting at. I'm going to switch the camera around. So we're aiming for these one-inch squares at 100 yards, and we were like gone. They were going nowhere. Nowhere in there, so it's going all over the place. I kind of got it figured out, but now we're definitely ready to move to the 100-yard mark. No problem. And this is about the size of my hand, by the way. So we're going to move out to 100 yards now. I got the target moved back. Got the target moved back. Uh, you guys can't even see it. There you go. And uh, I, listen, guys, I know there's more technologically ways to do this, uh, but uh, I'm kind of old school. It's the way I was trained. That's what it is. So now we should be able to hit that, that black one inch spot quite easily. So let's get up set up for that. All right, I'm pretty jazzed. Now that we've got that set up, the rain is moving in. It's not here yet, but uh, it's trying to be. It's trying to be. Unfortunately, this has taken way too many rounds to do this. I started with nine. All right, let's get this sucker adjusted and on target. I'm gonna drop three in it just for good measure. I hate to say it, but I think it looks pretty good. Let's go down, take a look, and see how bad I did. All right, so I had a little bit of trouble. I had to reassess the target here. Finally got it back to where it needs to be at 100 yards. Uh, right in here, I was pretty happy with this, so I decided to go after that one right there. Didn't quite get exactly where I wanted to be, and uh, this one got even closer. I think. 
I'll be honest with you, I don't think that the scope is cammed for that particular round. I just had to, I've fought with it way too much. So with that said, that ends our, uh, we're, we're, we're out of rounds. So uh, that kind of ends this video. What I will tell you, uh, 6.5 Creedvor, very flat trajectory, very easy. That particular rifle, very easy to shoot. Actually enjoyed it. I hate to say it, more than my old M40. So for all you uh, techno geeks out there, long range precision shooters that didn't have to do it, learn it the hard way like I did. Um, yeah, no computers. Just brain power, just math, uh, just old guy glasses, and still blinking when it squares it 100 yards. All right, guys, until the next time. Well, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you've forgotten to do so. Stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.